Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use sample spaces to solve real life problems using probability. Now, let's say we've got a problem where Sally sells a merch on an online store and she sells shirts, red shirts, blue shirts, a whole different color of shirts. Okay, and we want to find out what the probability is in buying these shirts. Now, if the probability was simple, for example, let's say Sally sold four different colors in three different sizes, then it'd be pretty easy for us to figure out if I wanted to buy a, a blue shirt. Because we know there's four colors, it's just going to be one out of four. Join me as I show you how to use sample spaces to solve real life problems in this video. Coming up. Okay, so let's do the following question. Sally sells crew t-shirts on her online merch store. She sells four colors, yellow, blue, gray, and red. Each t-shirt is available in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Also, stick to the end because I'm going to have a bonus question, which is going to be a super tough one that I'm going to show you how to work out. Assuming that each t-shirt is equally popular, what is the probability of, question one, a shirt purchase at random being a red one, question two, a t-shirt purchase being a size small, yellow, question three, two t-shirts purchased a straight one after the other, size large and blue. And question four, the first and second t-shirt have the same color and the same size. So very quickly, question one I've mentioned in the intro. So if I want to purchase uh, just a red t-shirt, then remember, because I've got four colors and red is one out of four, then the probability is simply just one out of four. For these next set of questions, I'm going to use a sample space. So let's check this out. I'm going to do a sample space uh, for size versus color, and it's going to look like this. Remember, I've got four colors, yellow, blue, gray, and red, and I've got three sizes, small, medium, and large. So in this sample space, I have 12 possible outcomes, and I'm looking for the probability that a t-shirt purchase being a size small yellow. So I want a size small yellow, which is this point here, and that is basically one out of 12. So I have a 1 12th chance of purchasing a small yellow t-shirt. Question three, I'm going to use the same sample space. I have yellow, blue, gray, and red at the bottom and small, medium, large along the side. And I want two t-shirts purchased straight one after the other, being a size large and blue. So think about this. The probability of a size large blue t-shirt will be this point here. And so that is one out of 12. So the probability of a large blue is one out of 12. And so the question is asking me, what's the probability of getting a large blue and a large blue t-shirt? And so that would be 1 over 12 times by 1 over 12, which will give me a total probability of 1 out of 144. Now remember, these are theoretical probabilities, suggesting that Sally stocks her inventory full on her online merch store. We have a 1 out of 144 chance of getting two large blue t-shirts. So in real life, this can be very different because it really depends on what sizes and colors that Sally stocks in her inventory for her online merch store. So she might run out of yellow t-shirts or blue t-shirts or size medium. And it happens because one size might be popular over another size. But in this question, we are taking that each size and color is equally likely and popular. Okay, so for question four, I want to find out the probability that the first and the second t-shirt have the same color and the same size. So I'm going to be using a different sample space here. Uh, remember, I've got four colors, yellow, blue, gray, and red, and I have three different sizes. I have a small, medium, and large. So this is what I'm going to do. On my vertical line, I'm going to do all the colors with each size. And down the horizontal line, I'm going to do, again, all the colors with all the sizes. So that's going to be yellow, small, yellow, medium, yellow, large. Blue small, blue medium, and blue large, and then so on and so forth. So you can see all those outcomes. Now remember, that's my first pick. So that's my first t-shirt, and then this will represent my second t-shirt. Okay, so for my second t-shirt, I can get a red large, red medium, red small. I can get the same with the grays, the same with blues, and then finally the same with the yellows. And then if I list all the possible outcomes, you'll see that there's a total of 144 possible outcomes because I have a 12 by 12 grid. So what I'm representing with this sample space is the outcomes of purchasing two shirts. And between those two shirts, I'm finding the probability of buying the same color and the same size. So I'm going to be looking for a red large with a red large, a red medium with a red medium, a red small with a red small, and so on. Okay. So this diagonal line here represents the probability of getting the same color and the same size for both my t-shirts. So the probability that the first and the second t-shirt have the same color and the same size. And that's equal to 12 out of 144, which I can simplify to 1 over 12. 
Now, for sure, there are different ways for you to do this. However, I'm showing you the sample space so you can visually understand how this is done. I want you to understand what is the method of finding out the first and the second T-shirt having the same size and the same color. I hope I've made it nice and clear for you and you've understood the concept. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Remember, I'm going to be doing a bonus question and I'm going to link that at the end of the video so you can go and check that out. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you want more videos on probability, then check out the playlists. And if you need more tips, tricks and tutorials on math videos, then subscribe to make sure you get the latest updates. I'll see you in the next one.